how to trade head and shoulders pattern this is what we are going to discuss today in the episode 4 of simplified trading strategy series from market secrets so far we have seen triangle pattern flag pattern and cup and handle pattern and i hope you have liked it and understood better this week let us learn about a bearish reversal pattern which is head and shoulders pattern head and shoulders is a bearish reversal chart pattern and as the name suggests it looked like head and shoulders when it comes to head and shoulders pattern there are four different parts which forms this pattern the left shoulder the head the right shoulder and the trend line this trend line is otherwise called as neckline this is a typical example of a head and shoulders pattern and if you look at here this is your first shoulder that is left shoulder that we have discussed so this looks like an inverted u or an inverted v consider market is in an uptrend and market does a pull back and forms an inverted u or inverted v shape at this point there is no way to tell if the market will reverse because a pull back occurs regularly in a trending market so this part of the chart forms your left shoulder and it doesn't give any signal for us yet and now the head the head is again an inverted u or an inverted v shape the market trades above this previous high however the sellers took control and pushed the price lower towards the previous swing low this forms your neckline or the trend line and a big inverted u or inverted v so now with three touch points we will be able to draw the neckline or this trend line and in addition to this this particular price action has resulted in a big inverted u or a big inverted v forming the head of the head and shoulders pattern so now we have a left shoulder and a head now the third item is your right shoulder it is again an inverted u or an inverted v shape in this case the buyers make a final attempt to push the price higher but it failed to break even this previous high that is your head and then the sellers take control and push the price towards your neckline this forms another inverted u or an inverted v shape so this completes the formation of your right shoulder and the fourth part of this head and shoulders pattern is your trend line or the neckline this is the last line of defense for the buyers if price breaks below this neckline or the trend line the market could reverse and head lower and this will be the beginning of a new downtrend there are few things that you need to remember while trading the head and shoulders pattern the head and shoulders pattern should be as straight as possible it should not be sloping up or downside too much a perfect head and shoulders pattern should have an equal height on both the sides of its head but this is not possible all the time so a slightly sloped head and shoulders with the small differences in the height of the shoulders is acceptable but remember this pattern should not be sloped too much there is one more thing that you need to remember while trading the head and shoulders pattern the second shoulder or your right shoulder should not have too much height the lesser the height of the second shoulder the better it is because this indicates a consolidation before price start moving down so if there is a sharp move in this shoulder or if there is too much height on this second shoulder then it isn't a good sign and such trade should be avoided and whenever you identify the head and shoulders pattern you can draw the straight line in the bottom which connects the head and shoulders we will get a technical breakout when the price gives a breakout below this line drawn and when it comes to the volume as i always say the volume is the most important thing you need to check for in any pattern so a perfect head and shoulders pattern will give a double confirmation when the price gives the breakout with a big volume so if there is a huge volume and price breaks out of this particular line then you can take it as a double confirmation when it comes to the entry you can enter into your trade once the price gives a breakout below this trend line or the neck line but if you are a new trader and if you are afraid of false breakouts then you can enter the trade during the pullback so if you look at here there is a pullback over here and it is forming an inverted flag pattern so you can use this to enter during the pullbacks if you have enough experience trading the head and shoulders pattern you can even enter the trade once 50% of the right shoulder is formed so when do we know 50% of the right shoulder is formed it's simple look for candlestick reversal patterns that we have discussed in the price action trading series 
so when it comes to the target the target for this pattern is arrived by measuring the height of the head from the neckline so if the height of the head is 100 points then your technical target from this particular breakout will be 100 points but if you are entering here you need to part book here and if you are entering here you need to recalculate your target because price has already moved a bit of distance and when it comes to stop loss once the price has given a breakout below the neckline the neck point becomes your immediate resistance and you can keep the high price of the shoulder or the head as your stop loss based on the formation so if there is a build up here for example right this has a good build up here so you can keep your stop loss here if you are entering over here in case if you are entering here your stop loss should be here and in case if you are entering here using the inverted flag pattern then your stop loss should be somewhere around here so this is how you should be trading head and shoulders pattern and like always don't just blindly trade the patterns try to understand the price action behind these patterns that is very very important with that we have come to end of today's session if you have any queries on trading the head and shoulders pattern please let us know in the comment section we'll be happy to answer it Hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we conduct a live session. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.